This is ANSI 150 and also available ANSI 300 fire safe ball bells available from 15 millimeter to 200 millimeter. They're investment cast 316 stainless steel um, made with uh, Australian zircon sand. They come with the ISO pad mount on the top here it's for actuator insert if necessary so we can put either a double acting spring return or electric actuation on here. Also we can put gearbox. This one has a manual function. Um, manual lever in this particular case comes with a, a locking point just here and a locking tab. So if we pull that up it releases a locking tab and we can just rotate it around like such. Um, and you can see the ball inside here. This has PTFE seats and two-piece body. It is API 607 certified. If we just look at the tag, it also lays it onto the body. Will be your certification down here. What temperatures can this be? This is good for general purpose and steam applications up to 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, the fire safe certification, of course, makes it uh, good for petrochemical and other units. This is the investment cast ANSI 150 and also available in ANSI 300 fire safe two piece ball valve. I've got a breakdown here to show how the internals operate. First of all, we've got the ISO pad mounting here for the actuators to go onto. We can accommodate uh, double acting spring return pneumatic and also electric and also a gearbox operation on these and up to certain sizes manual lever operation. Internally inside here we have the PTFE seats. In fact, they're still in the in the valve, but I have one from a, a repair kit, a, a new kit that shows you how they operate. There's the seat and which has a little groove coming through here. You see little grooves, there's a, a bleed grooves through the side. There's CNC PTFE. All CNC PTFE to a high tolerance. The ball itself over here, there's a highly polished face and has the groove here where the mating drive shaft goes into. You can see on the drive shaft there is a detent here, a PTFE thrust washer, another detent. There is a Viton seal and the graphite and pregnated crush washers go here. You can see where the mark is, that, um, just the stain mark from the graphite. And in fact, on the breakdown, the graphite seats are still internally, but I have a set just here from a repair kit to show you. The detent is to go with the FireSafe API 607 certification, so when it goes into there, it makes contact for anti-static, and likewise for the going through the stem from the shaft, a detent or ball valve will rotate inside that head. You'll probably see through here the anti there's the crash washers graphite and inside there is the ball where that detent will rotate inside as the valve rotates bright on seal is a a backup for a bubble tight um, below the graphite chevron seals and they are held in place over here if we go down to this assembly there is a, a nut at the very top of this whole assembly with a, a locking face. Then comes a set of Belleville washers, which we have here. They're slightly coned washers, which you may or may not be able to see here, but you can see a little gap internally. And they get compressed down and give a, a live loaded packing, so that there's a consistent thrust on the actual thrust washer, unlike a gland which you screw down and has variable thrusts. This one, this little 
part here is slides down up and down the shaft and gives the constant thrust onto the bellable washers. Bellable washers themselves is a set of graphite washers. If I just open those up, the chevron. Sorry, chevron. the chevron washers themselves. Yeah, the thrust comes from the bellable washers through this slider, and the chevron washers and CNC machined. And if we open them up, they're actually got a little cone face on them and a recess on the other side. So that cone face goes into the recess. And likewise with the second washer, concept is that this sits against the face internally inside the stem and the thrust washer goes on here. Any compression of these crush washers will force the the chevron out to seal on the internal and external part of that shaft. API 607 certification is around the neck as you can see. It's a certification tag and the actual API is also lasered. If I rotate this around to here on the side in between the two faces there is a raised section over here where one half of the split body slides into the other. The ball will then go and rotate on the PTFE seat. And if we move over to this other unit, you can see the graphite seal is still in place here, which gives a seal between the two bodies.